This is the KWA M4 RAS. This gun was purchased off of Airsoft GI. It is the the only place Airsoft site you can actually buy uh, M4 KWA RAS with RAS rails. This gun is all solid steel except for this, which is aluminum, as is in the real gun. This is polymer. This is polymer, and it's in the real gun. This is polymer, and this is polymer. So everything's exactly real as the real gun. This gun is 400 FPS, reinforced gearbox, steel gearbox instead of a zinc one, reinforced piston, everything. It can, it's lipo ready right out of the box. And um, this gun, it's so strong, I jammed 20 BBs in the barrel on full auto, shooting at about 20 rounds a second. And, you know, I'm surprised it didn't strip the gears because it's just that good. Okay, I'm going to go over now what comes with the package you buy. The package you buy with this gun is $335. This is KWM4, obviously. Okay, everything on this side of the cleaning, this side of the cleaning rod comes with the package. Of course, the cleaning rod itself does. Here is the KWA M4 mag, 400 round high cap. Very nice mag. This is the sight adjustment for the front. Of course, the barrel cover, which is very nice. And then, you know, if you don't always like RIS rails, and you just want a little old school sometimes, it does come with the original thing, the original forearm, also made out of polycarbonate material. But and it also includes a free ICS PQ box, battery box, which can fit a full-size nunchuck battery, a large type, or a mini type large, 8 cell. And this is the cleaning rod. Another good thing to have, because I do several airsoft, I do airsoft fights, and a couple good things to have for airsoft fights a speed loader you can get one of these at like a gander mountain for nine bucks or something and then i have a leapers red dot sight here red green dot all metal which is a good thing to get and see the gun here like another thing is you could you could take this off and put this on here like this but the problem is is you have to take this off and you can risk scratching the barrel so a good accessory to get here i'll show you how to put it i'll put it on for you it's this rail that mounts right up on the top right up on the top of the um, of the gun, like on the sights like this. And with with a red dot sight, I actually have tried it both ways, both on the regular rail and on the this way. Hang on, it might take a second to get on here. All it is is it's a little washer that pulls it tight and this circular bolt thing that goes on like this. It's a very nice accessory. It looks like this now, but if you're worried you can't still see through the iron sights, you can still see through the iron sights. There's a square there. Basically, the only reason that's there is so you can, you know, sight in your gun. And then the, the red dot sight goes on here like this. You could put anything on here from a 4 to 24 zoom red dot reflex. I originally wanted the reflex, but they didn't have that, and I'm glad I didn't get it because I really like this leapers. All you gotta do is simply just twist it on like so, and you're ready to go. That's the Leapers Red Dot Sight right on there. So it, it's pretty good. It, its shoulder is pretty nice. Very easy to aim through the Red Dot Sight. It looks difficult, but it's very comfortable. Another thing you got, you gotta get your battery. I highly recommend if you get this up here, Soft GI. A, the 800 or 18 8 1800 milliamp nunchuck which is a four cell nickel metal hydrate battery high output it's for guns at 400 fps this which just is 405 chronoed this here i highly suggest you get these ksc 0.25 gram bbs these are the best bbs you can buy for soft gi 15 bucks a bag but you i can hit a penny or i can hit a quarter from 50 feet with these bbs with almost every shot then course you want to get up this is a proud spec op script if you've been looking at this on any other sites yeah it's plastic but it's the same shit the guys are using over in Iraq it's not a plastic it's a nylon material very strong and durable the latch inside here that holds this up and down is metal these they look it's an optical illusion they're all the same size these are G&G &G spring they're not high caps um, spring mags that are 80 rounds each here I highly suggest silicon oil with your gun 
you can use REM oil with Teflon in it, but I don't, it's okay to use. But if you got silicon oil, get silicon oil. That's a lot better. And then next on, here we got this. I highly recommend you get a good sidearm. This is the best, I'm not exaggerating, this is the best pistol in the world you can buy. This is a KWA PTP or professional training pistol. The best pistol you can buy off KW for K, from KWA. This is a full metal pistol, 340 FPS. Gas, it takes green gas or propane. Red gas you can use too. This is not stamped, this is a milled, milled clip. Very realistic. 2.5 pounds. You got the you got the clip in. Pull that back, it stays there. Load the mag. Push that forward. S safety works. Everything. And then when you put a mag in, you can, you know, cock it back. If there's BBs in there, it'll just slide forward. So it'll make 2.5 pounds. Very nice. All metal, not a single piece of plastic on it. Except for it will be plastic on the real gun. Like this. Polymer material. Clips pretty nice. Very nice gun. Hop up's pretty easy to adjust. It comes with hop up key. You can just do it with your fingernail outside whenever you use the hop up key. Comes a little bit of silicon oil. There's three spots the oil on the back. So if you're curious if you have this and you don't know, oil here, the release, just put some oil and then go like that with your thumb. When you put mag, mags in, if you, I have here, oh by the way, here's a propane adapter to use in Coleman propane tanks. I use propane because it's cheaper. You take a little bit of oil, put it in that thing, and you put the propane in. Same with this. Before You do this before you put the propane in. Another spot to oil on this weapon is right in there. There's right where the thing is. That little hole in there where the gas comes out. Just drop a couple drops in there and you'll be good. Very nice weapon. All this total package here together. For all this stuff I bought, this is perfect. I've done a, I've done an airsoft fight with this, and this is a plenty of magazines and stuff. This total stuff, this this whole thing here, all this stuff was five hundred and fifty-six dollars total. Pistol, the pit, and the, I got the pistol, silicon, the propane adapter, and the BBs. That was two hundred and fifty-six. So you're looking at five, six, seven. You're looking at roughly eight hundred dollars for all the stuff you see here. If you're if you got that much money, it's a perfect thing to get. It's the best airsoft gun in the world. Well, these are actually better than Systemas because Systemas have the, the system. The only thing better about Systemas is they have the removable cylinder, which you can alternate the FPS. But Systemas aren't as accurate because they have the removable cylinder and that jiggles around in there. This gun is actually just tested against the Systema, and it is actually more accurate than the Systema. It has a pretty good punch. It can punch um, with 25 gram BBs. It can punch an eighth inch bulge or dip into solid oak plywood. It's pretty good because, I mean, if you don't go full auto, your clips will last you the whole match. I mean, most of the time in airsoft matches, you really think about it, you're not going full auto unless you go COD 4 style, like I do. Another thing is, don't ever get a used airsoft gun after. Don't ever get a used airsoft gun off of a website. Getting a used airsoft gun is like getting a used condom. 